I'm Trent Albers and this is another episode of Policing with Pride. Today we're going to talk recruiting with Lieutenant Orrin Orchard. Basically what characteristics our department is looking for in new officers. That's something that should be important to both community members as well as those watching this video that might be interested in being part of our department. Orrin, tell me about the characteristics that you guys are looking for in a Papillion Police Department officer. We want an officer that is really able to work with other officers, that's able to communicate well, um, has a personality where he is able to um, get along and be part of a, a unit or a group and build some cohesion. Uh, we also want individuals that are um, able to present themselves well, um, whether in public speaking settings or one-on-one -on -one situations with someone that's having a bad day, that's able to have empathy, um, find a way to find some common ground with others and communicate with them. And we want our officers to be able to be out in the public and be approachable. We need to be able to have officers that are representative of the community. And, and so that doesn't mean they all have to live in the community, but they have to really be able to understand our community and be able to be a part of it. One thing that Chief Lyons has said to me before is as far as what kind of officer we're trying to recruit is that, you know, if you think that there's going to be a lot of action and adventure in this department that you might be mistaken, is that what, what's, the, what's the day in the life of a Papillion police officer like? It's filled with uh, um, activities that, are, are, that you wouldn't see on cops. You know, it's, it's, it's doing things that, um, you know, checking up on businesses. Um, it's, it's getting out and patrolling the neighborhoods. It's uh, stepping out of the cruiser and, and walking through the parks during ball games. Um, so, so you're right, if, if an officer or an individual is looking to uh, uh, have a career where it's filled with um, um, high risk search warrants and, and, and foot pursuits and high speed car chases, they're not gonna find it here. Okay. Um, that's, you know, we're about um, engaging with the community and so we want people that are able to see the value of, of building positive relationships and the value of, of becoming involved in the workplace here with their coworkers and in the community with, with the people that we provide a service to. What are you guys looking for in an officer uh, fitness wise? Because I know fitness is also a big part of this department. It is, it is. We want officers to be, be physically fit. Um, we also want them to be emotionally fit, um, mentally fit, and, and to be well-rounded. But physical fitness is, is a huge um, um, benefit um, to doing this job because these officers carry around you know, a lot of equipment. They're in and out of cars all day long. You know, that action of getting up, sitting down, getting up, sitting down. Um, they're in and out of, of all kinds of weather conditions, whether they're going out in the cold, into the warm, um, whether that's in a building or, or from a car. A lot of times, spend a lot of time out in the heat, uh, a lot of time out in the cold weather. And, and an individual that's in good physical shape and good physical condition is really able to tolerate um, those types of extremes on the on the physical body while there's a ton of characteristics that you want to see in an officer there's not a specific mold or model of a person that's an officer is that kind of true that is absolutely true um, there's some general um, characteristics we like to see our officers have but there is no one uh, specific uh, individual that that it has to be Diversity is important because it adds to the department as a whole and our ability to understand what's going on around us and to engage in the community. It's important because uh, we want to be able to be a representative population of the population that we serve. Mm -hmm. um, it's important because we want to uh, make sure that we are being fair and and providing equal opportunity to everybody that, that deserves an opportunity to be a police officer. Um, we try to reach out to uh, career fairs and job fairs in a variety of different settings, um, whether that's um, 
at a, at a career fair out at a college campus or whether it's a career fair hosted by uh, an inner city uh, community location. Um, one example is we, we um, regularly attend a bilingual career fair oh, okay. and advertise on a Hispanic radio station to try to make sure we're reaching um, candidates that uh, might not otherwise be exposed or know that we are looking for officers. What would you tell us, somebody that's interested in being an officer on our department? I would talk to them about um, why do you want to be a police officer and find out what their motivations are and what their drive is and, and make sure that it is um, really in line with what we're looking for. Um, I, I would encourage them to, to improve their chances by becoming familiar with the Papillion Police Department and becoming familiar with the community. Um, I'd, ask, I'd encourage them to uh, prepare themselves physically to get in shape because we do have a, a fitness assessment as part of the application process. And I would encourage them to um, really communicate with officers that are on our department to go on a ride along or to um, try to reach out to, to people that they know to talk about, hey, what's being a police officer like? I want someone that's gonna apply here to have a a full understanding of what the job is and what it entails. Cool. I think that's I think that's plenty for me to work with unless you got something else that I missed. Um, come work for Papillion Police Department, the number one agency in the state. <laughs>